Um, just in this video, I wanted to run through the questions that I gave you there for homework on the organic reactions. So um, firstly, if, if I was you drawing these out or doing these questions, I would draw out the names. OK, so you're going to draw out there so you can see that's C2H4. Here you have C2H5OH. OK, um, here you have CH3. So you'd be drawing in your three. Then you notice that you've got CH, OK, but you've got a CO. So you, that needs to be C double bond O here. And then hydrogen, you've got oxygen. Look, you see the way you have two oxygen atoms there together. So that's your, your, your ester. Then you go to name them. So you can say the first one is ethene. Okay, so you can see your double bond here, your CC double bond. OH is the functional group for B. So B is ethanol. Okay, C then is ethanol. It's an aldehyde, isn't it? Because you can see the C double bond OH. And then notice the oxygen bridge, look, linking one piece of the ester to the other piece of the ester molecule. So that's an ester. Now, what ester is it? So when you go to attempt to name that, you asterisk the carbon that came from the acid. So the acid that was used here was methanoic acid. So the ending is going to be methanoate. And what's C2H5? Ethyl. So ethyl methanoate is D. So just to go through those again now, A is ethene, B is ethanol, C is ethanol, and D is ethyl methanoate. Okay. Now at this stage now in your organic revision, you should have a postcard somewhere. And like you would say, if it's an alkane, substitution. If it's an alkene, addition. Okay. If it's an alcohol to an alkene, that is the only example of elimination on your course, right? If it's alcohol to aldehyde to acid, that's oxidation. The opposite then, acid back to aldehyde, back to alcohol reduction. So they're the common ones that keep coming up. Now, look, B, type of reaction is involved in conversion X. Now, the minute you spot the alkene, you are thinking addition. So X is addition. And Y then, look, you're going from an alcohol to an aldehyde, so Y is oxidation. Name, name. Now, some of you got lost a few marks in your pre's here over this. You, when, when the word name is there, you have to name the reagent, like write out the name of it. So the reagent then is hydrogen, okay? Because it's asking you, look for W, and what's W? W is reduction, so reduction of the aldehyde back to the alcohol. So you need hydrogen gas and you need nickel. But if you write down Ni, um, they're not going to give you the marks because they've specifically said name there, okay? Part D then says, identify the organic compound that reacts with B. So look, B is ethanol, and you're trying to form ethyl methanoate, methanoate. So what would you need there? You would need methanoic acid. Now, they didn't ask you in this particular question, but sometimes they might ask you for the catalyst required for esterification. So you would need hydrogen ions from something like conksulfuric acid, but they didn't ask you that there. They just wanted the organic compound, so you could just say methanoic acid there. The homologous series to which D belongs, they belong to esters. Now, name the mechanism of the addition. Addition, be careful that you don't describe the wrong mechanism of bromine to A. Now, A is ethene, look. So you're describing ethene and bromine, and the product there then that you'd be making would be the 1,2-dibromoethane, okay? So you describe your mechanism and then give the name and the structural formula. So you have to draw out one of them um, or a piece of evidence to support the mechanism that you've just described. So remember we talked about adding sodium chloride okay, to bromine water. Um, and if that happens in the presence of ethene, you, you do make your product, 1,2-dibromoethane. But remember, you also make 1-bromo-2-chloroethane and 2-bromoethanol. And you need to be you need to draw one of them. Um, so that they have the structural formula there. So you'd draw out either 1-bromo-2-chloroethane or 2-bromo-ethanol. That's actually in your vision book on page 238, the, the mechanism there and the reaction. And then finally, describe a test to show that one of the above compounds is unsaturated. So you must describe, so write it out like you would have a method when you were in junior cert. So you would say that you'd add bromine water to one of the compounds, okay? And then remember, you stop her and shake, and then you observe. So that if the orange-red color goes colorless, then the compound is unsaturated. Or remember, you could also use your acidified k 4 for that, okay? Now, 
The next one here then that you had to do was, um, was this, no, this wasn't your, this wasn't your own pre, no, it wasn't. Okay, now, giving the UPAC names, so again, like I was saying in the previous question, draw them out, okay? So there's 18, okay? So you'd name that 18, all right? Um, I'll just draw out, um, that one there is ethanol, you'd be familiar with that. Here, look, I'll just draw this out here, double bond O and the H. So look at your functional group, C, double bond O, H. So that's an aldehyde, so that's ethanol. And here then, look, watch the oxygen bridge linking, okay? So, so that's how you'll spot your ester. So naming them, so A is ethene, B is ethanol, C is ethanol, and then your ester. How do we name esters again when we're doing this? Well, we asterisk the carbon that came from the acid. So that acid, because there's two carbons there, you would have used ethanoic acid. So the ending would be called ethano8. And then what's in front? A C2H5. So it's ethyl. Ethyl ethanoate is D. Identify the type of reaction involved in X. Straight away when you see X, look you notice that this is an alkene. So the minute you see an alkene, you are thinking addition. So X is addition, or you can call it ionic addition if you like. V or Z then, sorry. Z is an alcohol going to an ester. So Z is esterification. You could also call that substitution or condensation, but we stuck with esterification when we were doing it. C then says compound B reacts with which organic compound to form D? Well, B is ethanol. And you're forming ethyl ethanoate for D. So what would you need to add to ethanol to make ethyl ethanoate ethanoic acid? Name the homologous series to which D belongs. It belongs to an ester. And then it says on your, on your structure, so you've already drawn out D, indicate um, a carbon that has planar. Well, I've already asterisked it there, look. The carbon that's planar is the one with the C double bond O. So that's your planar carbon. And then any carbon that's tetrahedral, well, they're both tetrahedral carbons. That would be a tetrahedral carbon as well, <clears throat> excuse me, because of the four single bonds coming out of it. What reagents are required for conversion? Why? Now, this is why. Why is going from an aldehyde back to an alcohol? So what do you need for reduction? You need nickel and you need hydrogen gas. Now, notice that they just say what reagents there. So you wouldn't have to name them out. But if to be safe, you should probably name them in case you miss it in the real exam. Now, compound A reacts with bromine, okay, to form your 1,2-dibromoethane. They want you to describe the mechanism. So you're describing the mechanism there between ethene and bromine forming 1,2-dibromoethane. And then finally, they want you to one piece of experimental evidence to support this mechanism. So again, like in the previous question there, you'd be saying that when you add sodium chloride, remember sodium chloride with the bromine and the ethene, that you form your 1-bromo-2-chloroethane and your 2 bromo ethanol okay great now um in the next question here then all right they asked you again to make give the upac name so some of these are very similar um <clears throat> so oops sorry i'll just mark this up there now so some of them are very similar so the first one is obviously ethene second one is ethane at the minute you spot the ethane you are thinking substitution substitution chlorine gas uv light the minute you spot the ethene, you are thinking addition into story. Now look at this. We haven't. I don't think we've met this one in the previous examples here. So what would that be called? Well, it's an alkane because it's the all single bonds. It's a chloroethane, isn't it? So that's chloroethane there. So giving the UPAC names, A is ethene, B is ethane, C is chloroethane. And they also asked you for E. E is ethanol. We had that there previously. Describing the mechanism for reaction W. Now, that's your free radical substitution mechanism that you're describing there. Between ethane and chlorine, forming chloroethane and hydrogen chloride gas. Remember that the, one of the products is a gas, that hydrogen chloride is a gas. Identify an elimination reaction. The only elimination reaction on your course is an alcohol to an alkene. So it has to be X. And identifying an oxidation reaction then, that has to be Y there, look, because you're going from the alcohol to the aldehyde. State the reagents for Y. I don't think we've had that one so far. Sodium dichromate and H plus ions. And again, what would supply those H plus ions? Something like conch sulfuric acid. Na what type of reaction is involved in V? V, the minute you spot the alkene, you are thinking addition, so ionic addition. Now, giving one use of this reaction in industry, 
At the bottom of page 236 in your revision book, they give you the hydrogenation, adding hydrogen, adding hydrogen across the double bond, forming, um, forming an alkane or ethane there is used in softening hard butter, you know, to make margarine or to make spreadable butters. So making margarine is your answer there. F then says, name one compound of the scheme that contains at least one planar carbon. Now you'll have them drawn out so you'll be able to see the carbons that have um, a double bond. So ethane has two planar, so at least one. So ethane is the answer. So you could say A or E. The ethanol also has one planar carbon there. And then giving a use for compounds which C belong to, well, chloroalkanes. What is our use of chloroalkanes? They're good organic solvents. So solvents for removing oil, solvents for removing grease, solvents for um, you know, um, dry cleaning clothes, paint stripper, that sort of thing. Thank you.